Should I have purchased this? Oh my gosh, did I spend too much? What else could this money have gone towards? Luxury guilt is real. So I'm going to be sharing five of the main reasons that I see around why people feel guilty and what you can do about this. Hey everyone, my name is Steph. If you are new to this channel and love all things luxury, make sure you join us by hitting the subscribe button down below. Reason number one is that the purchase you have made isn't classic enough. We often see this when it comes to trendy pieces that just aren't really going to stand the test of time, but they're very much in fashion right now. It's really easy to start feeling guilty towards these purchases because we know in five or 10 years time, we're probably not going to be using them then, which raises the question, is that luxury item really worth it? Speaking of classic and timeless, I would like to say a huge thank you to The Pearl Source, who are the sponsors of today's video. Now, I'm so honored that The Pearl Source wanted to partner up with me on this channel for a few reasons. The first one is that, of course, they have some incredible jewelry. They have sent me a few pieces. We will be unboxing them together and putting them on. So I'm very excited for that. We'll be doing that in a second. But more importantly, what they stand for is incredible and it really is a cause that is close to my heart. Pearls have always been a symbol of natural feminine power and that is why the Pearl Source have devoted part of its business to support the financial, educational and entrepreneurial empowerment of women and I am here for it. So let's unbox some of the pearls that they have sent to me. Make sure you head over to their website. I will link it in the description box down below because there are so many beautiful pieces. Honestly, my wish list is so long now and the pearl sales have also given me an exclusive discount code to give to you guys. I will flash it on the screen down below for you. Terms and conditions do apply. They again will be in the description box. You can use this code site-wide for 10% off everything. Now let's take a look at the pearls. Okay, here we go. Look at this packaging. It is stunning. We heard you deserve this, absolutely. Whether this is for yourself or someone else. So here I have the May bracelet, oh my gosh. This is so beautiful. I ordered this in the 14 karat yellow gold with fresh water pearls. It kind of spirals around your hand. This is the most exquisite thing. And that's not all. We have another piece here. Open, love and wear forever. This is exactly what I mean by a classic piece. Wow, look at this. This is the Gwen necklace. This is in 14 karat gold again, fresh water pearls and black spinel. All of these pieces are made in-house to ensure the order adheres to the highest standards of pearl quality. They have thousands of positive reviews. They come with a two-day free delivery and 60-day money-back guarantee and they make the perfect gift for yourself or a loved one. And currently on the Pearl Source, they are running a special fall sale and you can use my code HH10 for an extra 10% off. Thank you so much to the Pearl Source for sponsoring this part of today's video, providing us with some beautiful pearls to take a look at, but most importantly, for supporting women and their empowerment in this world. The second reason that I see people live to regret luxury purchases is one of the most common ones, and it's very simply that they have spent too much. I get it, it is super tempting to buy luxury items. They are beautiful, they are selling out, they are having price increases all the time, get it now. This panic, sometimes you have to kind of calm that down as much as possible. If you are buying a luxury item and then it stretches you in other areas, maybe you're finding it then hard to pay rent, a mortgage, bills, food, like your essentials, I promise you, if you do that, you will live to regret that purchase and you will soon end up resenting it. I have seen a lot of people do this and then instantly they want to try and sell that item. What this usually leads to is a panic sale, which means you will probably lose out on money if you do decide to panic sell. And then the overall experience definitely won't feel like a luxury one. Now I do get asked a lot, how do I afford my luxury purchases? Um, what are any tips for saving money so that I can buy the items that I want to? And one of the things that has really helped me is a system System called Profit First. I will link to this book down below. You can also get it on audiobook if you prefer that. 
This book I read as a business book and it is so, so simple, but it's genius at the same time. And I have applied this system to my business bank account, but you can also apply it to your personal bank account. So I have a free Starling bank account and a business bank account. Within that banking app, I can create spaces. So basically for my income, I take 100% of my income and then I divide it out into areas before I've even spent anything. So the things that I know that I need to pay for, I come out first. And then after that, whatever is left, I will put towards luxury. Reason number three that might have left you thinking, should I have spent so much on that Chanel bag? Is reminiscing about what else you could have spent the money on. Now let's face it, there are billions of other ways that you could spend that money. You might be wondering, should I have spent that on a holiday for my family? Should I have invested it? Should I have bought a training course or given it away to charity? There really are so many ways that we can spend our money that sometimes it feels overwhelming. And it's very easy when we buy something that we don't see as essential to then move it towards more essential items and think, should we have spent it there? But it means you're not owning what your heart truly wanted. And there should be no shame around wanting what you want. Luxury items are designed to be appealing. They are made for some of the most exquisite fabrics. They have some of the world's most amazing craftsmen working on them. The brand and luxury experience, maybe it's something that you have built up to or are building up to. Don't taint that experience by thinking what else you could have spent the money on. Instead, go to a place of gratitude, of thankfulness, of fullness, and really enjoy what it is you decided you wanted to buy. Reason number four is using other people's poverty and as a comparison. Sometimes when we achieve something, maybe it's buying your dream classic flat bag after saving up and working really hard for it. We instantly take ourselves mentally to other people's circumstances. And in this scenario, it's generally people that have a lot less. But just because some people have less doesn't necessarily mean you should dull down your own desires. Instead, what I think is a great way to combat this is to think about how you can add value to the world and other people, your community, your friends, your family in different ways. It might be through supporting them and showing them how you created what you created and how you managed to save up for your dream Chanel classic flap. It might be that you have some incredible skills that you could share, maybe on a YouTube channel like this, around the world for free. Remember that you can show love and support and help to bring other people up around you without it always being financial. So stop feeling guilty about your luxury purchase. Finally, reason number five, and this one is a really sinister one. And this is being made to feel shame. Shame is one of the lowest frequency emotions that any human being can feel. If we have friends or family, community members that make us feel shameful around our purchase, maybe because they think differently, they think you should have spent the money differently or you should have thought of something else instead of buying something that you really desired, it can lead to feeling ostracized and that a few hundred years ago could have meant life or death. So it is so deeply ingrained in us to avoid feeling any feelings of shame which then tends to mean that sometimes we'll go through life trying to please other people instead of ourselves. Ultimately, all this is, is people projecting their view and expectations onto you. But remember, it's exactly that. It's their view, it is not yours. If you've got people around you that make you feel shame around your luxury purchases, it might be worth taking a look at the people you have around you. Try to fill your life with people who have more of an abundant mindset. And rather than shaming you for your luxury purchase, because maybe it's something that they would never do or feel they would never achieve, surround yourself with people that ask you how you did it. And they can't wait to achieve the same thing for themselves. Wow. We went deep on that. I would love to get your thoughts on this video topic in the comments down below. Have you ever made a luxury purchase and regretted it? And can you resonate with any of these points that I have made today? 
I definitely can. Thank you so much again to The Pearl Source for sponsoring today's video. I will flash the discount code which you can use on the screen down below. So if you want to gift yourself some empowerment pearls, you can make a saving. And not only that, if there is someone in your life that you absolutely love, pearls are never a bad idea. Why not gift them a classic timeless piece? Now that we've cleared up some of the reasons behind why we feel regret around luxury purchases, I can't think of anything better than heading to the stores and seeing what all the designer bags have in stock right now. Let's go shopping, guys.